Carla and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a juice recipe. I've already done another like how I juice with an actual juicer video, but today I'm just using a blender. So all you're going to need for this recipe today is a watermelon. I happen to have two mini watermelons here. These are from Whole Foods, they're organic, doesn't really matter what kind you get as long as you have some watermelon. Another important thing you're going to need is a strainer of some sort. Now because we're not using a juicer with this, we want our juice to be super smooth and not chunky of like pulp and stuff like that. So we're going to strain our juice and you're also going to need a bowl to strain your juice into and this is the one I have. It has a little lip on the end which is easy for pouring. These are optional, but after I make my juice, I usually have a lot left over, so I like to store them in mason jars. These aren't really mason jars, they're by the brand Ball, but I got them from Ralph's, and these are great because they're airtight, so I can have my juice for a couple of days, and it will be perfectly fine. Just to save time, I already went ahead and chopped up one miniature watermelon. I am going to be doing two of these. So I just tossed all the pieces into my blender and because watermelons are so full of water, you do not need to put anything else into this mix. So popping the top on and we're going to blend this up until it's nice and smooth. juice. Now there are going to be those little white seeds. I do not want to be drinking little bits of those. So this is where our strainer and bowl comes into play. So this strainer, any kind of strainer you can get from Target maybe? I don't know. This came in like a set that I ordered from Amazon. So I'm going to pour my watermelon juice. You can see it just goes right through. And this is going to catch all those bits that we do not want to be in our juice. Sounds like someone's pan over here. This is like the slushy stuff that we do not want in our juice. So now that that is done and we've got all of our delicious watermelon juice popping in there, delicious, we can get rid of this. I'm gonna pour my juice into a jar. So smooth, I just love this. Doesn't that look absolutely delicious? I'm obsessed. It was so simple and easy. As you guys saw, I just finished juicing the second melon and I ended up getting three jars of delicious, refreshing watermelon juice. This is really optional. You do not have to add herbs or anything like that, but I just went out on my patio and picked some stevia leaves and then some basil. Basil is like a very nice savory herb. It's one of my favorites and I eat it like every day. Stevia is just a natural sweetener. So again, watermelon juice is super sweet so you don't have to add that to your juice. But I love the color of the leaves so I'm just going to pop a couple of those in here. Makes me want to do a happy dance. Cheers! <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this watermelon juice video. I love making little recipes like this. So if you guys enjoyed this, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.